Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this KitchenAid 12 cup coffee maker, model number KCM1208. So this is a very nice coffee maker. It's got some really nice features that I really do like. Okay, so first you can have it like sideways because it does have a control panel here, but you can also have it like this. And if you want to do the brew, if you want to start the brew, you can start the brew from here or the side panel. Either button will start the brew. So again, you can position it either way. So I really do like this water reservoir. It's got a very sturdy handle, easy to take on and off, easy to fill up. I like that it's removable. That way I could take it over to the sink and, and rinse it out and wash it if I had to. It fits on there really nice. Let's take a look at the craft. It's got a very nice craft, hinged lid. Very durable. This one does have a warming plate. So the warming plate's gonna stay on for two hours and it's gonna shut off automatically when it's done brewing coffee. Okay, so up front here, this is where the shower head is and this is where you're gonna put the coffee. It's got kind of a neat lid. So you can see the shower head moves with the lid. It fits really nice. It's got this reusable number four cone filter that has a very special feature. See those steps? They're numbered. So all you have to do is fill the coffee up to that number that you're gonna brew. So say if you want 12, fill it up to the 12. If you want four, fill it up to the four. I like that feature. Now you don't have to use the reusable number four cone filter. You can use a number four paper filter, but you never use both of them at the same time. So it's either the paper or the reusable. And this is a very nice reusable filter. Now, if you're gonna use the number four paper, you're gonna put it in here. I like to kind of just put it in and kind of smash it, make sure it hugs both sides. Now this brew basket has a little trick. It's got a little handle. Now you're gonna to have to get used to using the handle because in order to take this brew basket out, you have to lift the handle. There's a little spot here that's gonna grab and now the brew basket will come out. Now to put the brew basket in, you, the handle has to be up. It's gonna catch those little ears on both sides and then you have to just kind of like put it down. If you try taking this in and out, it won't go in and out. If you try putting it in with the handle down, it won't go in, but that's the little trick to it and the handle has to be towards you. So down here, it does have pause brewing, so there is a plunger in the bottom with a spring, and anytime the coffee pot is in, this is gonna push up that plunger, so the coffee will come out. There is a little O-ring down there to kinda hold the plunger in. Now, I have measured these steps. So say you're using a paper filter, it's one tablespoon for every cup you're gonna brew. So that four step is four tablespoons, the 12 is 12 tablespoons. So again, if you're not using that, then just use the paper filter and just put use a tablespoon to put it in there. So when you're using the steps, you gotta kind of shake it to make sure it's nice and level. Now we're at the 12 mark. So you simply slide the lid down. Okay, I've got my water in. I can also program this to come on in the morning and brew a cup of coffee. I can also do a bold brew. When I want a bold brew, that little light's gonna come on but I can just press the brew now button here or on the front. Okay, so let's press the brew button now on the front. It's gonna beep once to let you know that it's starting and it's gonna beep three times when it's done. I started the stopwatch. We'll take some temperatures and do a taste test. Now over here on the side panel, this light lets you know that it's brewing now also. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. It's smelling really good and it's not super loud right now. Let's just take a sneak peek up here, yeah. Oh, it smells really good. So it comes with a very nice manual. Again, there's the brew light. Now after the end of the, when it's done, it'll beep three times when it's done. And then this brew warming light's gonna come on for two hours. It's gonna count down from two hours, how hot that coffee is. There's the bold icon. It also has a clean light. So the, the clean light's gonna come on to let you know it's time to descale it after 100 brews. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. Let's take another peek. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, so the temperature up there is around 192. I do see 195, 195 also. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is about 185. The temperature at the top has been relatively stable, 195, 196. Now again, whenever you press the brew button, whatever amount of water you have back here, that's what it's gonna brew. So if you only wanted to brew six cups of water, fill it up to the six mark with coffee, when you press the brew button, it'll brew just six cups. But I did fill it all the way up to the 12 cup mark. 
Okay, so nine and a half minutes. It's starting to get a quite a bit of steam. The water is all brewed. We got some coffee that needs to drain out of the filter basket yet, but it's getting done. There is quite a bit of steam coming off the top. Okay, so there's the three beeps to let me know that it's done brewing right at the 10 and a half minute mark. Now this light's gonna stay on for two hours to let me know the warming plate is on. If I, if I wanna turn that warming plate off early, I would just press that button and it would turn it off. Now over here on the side, the display changed. This is the timer now. So that's gonna start, that's the two hour timer and it's gonna count down from there. So if you come up here and it says one hour and 30 minutes, you know the coffee's been sitting there 30 minutes. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. It's got a nice handle. Now it pours really fast, but it pours good. It's a very nice craft. Goes back on there easy. I can tell already that is an extremely hot cup of coffee, 170. Yeah. So I've had a couple pots of coffee out of here already. It tastes absolutely delicious. This makes a great tasting cup of coffee. Um, it's very, very hot right now. I'm not able to drink it. And again, I, I'm not a coffee taste expert. I do add some cream and sugar to kind of let my flavors come through to take away the bitterness, but it does make a really good cup of coffee. Okay, so let's open this up up here, see how the coffee it did not overflow the filter basket. The filter worked very well. And then be careful, this is really hot, but when I'm ready for cleanup, I can just take this whole basket over and get rid of the coffee grounds because it's got that plunger, it's not gonna leak on me. Okay, so let's see, the warming plate is still on. Let's see if we can take a temperature. Yeah, it's about three, almost 400 degrees some places. Pretty even. So be careful, that's very hot. Okay, so size wise, Top to bottom is around 22 inches. Front to back, you're almost 12 inches. Left to right, you're almost seven inches. It's got a heavy duty cord and it's 32 inches long and it's three prone. So this one does fit under kitchen cabinets a little bit better than others. I mean, it is tall, but at least I can open it up kind of like there. It's partly under there and I can access the water tank by taking it off and then filling it up. Okay, so if you do unplug it, it does lose the time relatively right away. But setting the time is very easy. I like that it has an AM and a PM. That's very nice, so it's not very confusing. So you can set the time, set the minutes, and just let it stop flashing and it'll memorize it. Again, if you wanna start the brew now, you're gonna press the brew here. When the clean light comes on, it does have a cleaning function. We can press the button here. And again, this is the bold brew. Now let's say we want to set this to come on early in the morning. You're going to press that and then change the time. Again, a.m., 5, 10 a.m. If you want a bold brew or not. But the auto light has to be on when you go to bed. So press the auto button if you want to cancel it, but press it again. There's the time. Now if you press it again, so just after you press the auto button, let it time out from flashing. The auto light will stay on. Then this coffee maker will start in the morning at that time you have selected. Say you want to sleep in in the morning, come up here, press that, and that cancels it. You know, I do like this coffee maker when it's from the side also. We still have good access up here when we're doing it from the side. Okay, so this coffee maker retails for about $109. I think it's very well worth it. It's a very nice looking coffee maker. I love the extra features they've added. Removable water tank, reusable filter. I think the shower head worked very well. It's got a really nice craft. Now you can't turn the beeps on or off, or you can't turn them off, I mean. And it's only got a two hour um, auto off. You can't adjust that either for the warming plate. I love that they added the switch up here at the front. Now if this thing was in red, that kind of like that KitchenAid red, I think that would be awesome coffee maker this this is kind of the black onyx uh, black looks really nice i thought it'd make a great hot cup of coffee i always wondered a little bit about about this one about having the control panel on the side but i found that with, with the switch here it works perfectly fine now if i'm if i'm setting an auto program in the morning that might be a little tricky having it over there on the side but i absolutely love the look of this kitchen aid appliances definitely just look very well they did a very good job making this coffee maker. Yeah, I'm super happy that I bought this coffee maker. I've been buying quite a few coffee makers, so if you wanna see some more coffee maker reviews, please 
like and subscribe to my channel. There's a little subscribe button down at the bottom. I also review some other kitchen appliances, ice cream makers and blenders and some vacuum cleaners and robot vacuum cleaners, but I mainly do coffee makers and this one, I definitely really recommend this one. You know, $109, I think that's a good price for that because you're getting something that looks nice and makes a great cup of coffee. Now, the Mr. Coffees, yeah, they run about $25, $30. This is not a Mr. Coffee. Um, this is actually a very nice coffee maker with some very handy features, looks nice, make a great addition to your kitchen. So I really do hope this video helped. If you could, please like and subscribe.